Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you the e-machines with the original factory settings used from the restore disk. The only difference is I did to this computer before I turn it on is replace the CD drive. I put a better drive in it. This is a CD and DVD drive. That was from my Gateway G6350 because the Gateway got a better drive in it. Which is from the custom built when it when it was still good because the drive was still usable and I put it in the gateway. And I added an Ethernet modem, which Windows 98 don't detect I gotta have the drivers. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it on. And it has 128 megabytes of RAM, originally 64. And it's still got a 4 gigabyte hard drive. I tried to upgrade to an 8 gig, but the 8 gig Western Digital drive I had died, which, but now it should be coming up. The 8 gigabyte was for the gateway originally. And actually, this is my third take. And the gateway also has a 10 gigabyte Seagate drive that still works. Yeah, and I'm using my cell phone because the first time I took the video with the regular camera is because the reason why is that I ran out of room. You got the original green E. Let me rearrange these icons back. And you just heard the musical sound scheme. Let me delete AOL. I was trying to play around with the setup on the first take, but that kind of got screwed up due to in people interrupting me. I'm going to show you that it's the original Windows 98, as you see. I know there may be lines on the screen. Here's the information of the computer. It has 366 megahertz. Here's all that other information like technical support and the website. And as you see, you got the original MSN. It's a white MSN, which is an older version. In 98 second edition, you would get a, a red MSN icon. That's how you can easily tell if it's Windows 98 second edition if that if they had a red MSN right there, which is like a newer version. And it's not connected to the internet. And this is the worst version of Internet Explorer ever made. Internet Explorer 4.0. This was the most buggiest version of Internet Explorer in history. This is when Microsoft integrated Internet Explorer into their operating system. You know that um, Windows desktop update for Windows 95 and Windows NT 4.0 came with Internet Explorer. And you had an option to install it to ha make your desktop have new features. And you see you got two internet service providers that e-machines give you, like AOL. This is version 4.0. I remember using this on my grandma's computer. And I remember my aunt having this on her old 98 compact. She had one from like around mid 1998. And we got CompuServe 2000. And there's some others that Windows came with, as you see, under online services. Compu AT&T. That's what my grandma had. 
I never heard use Prodigy Internet. And the Krista Fusion drivers on here came with their own media player. And ATI got their video player, as you see. I'll show you that you can get when this media player. You just type M player 2, and this version should come up. Let's see what version this is. This is version 6.02. But later versions come with a new or newer come with the newer operating system. The only difference is with my aunt's computer, she had like a three gig hard drive in this thing. We'll play around with the system files and show you the media player. Let me go to the canyon. That's one weird media player, as you see. Yeah, that's gonna be too long. And that's for sure, it'll be Windows, original Windows 98. Startup sound. And it comes with desktop themes for sure. We got all the original themes that st with, that come with standard Windows 98. There ain't much in the programs. They come with Adobe Acrobat Reader 3.1 and Microsoft Works 4.5a, which is a version for Windows 95. A minute. Here's the Windows 98 theme, and they get give you a guide to your E Tower. Try to make it look a little more original here. That's the icons when their original setup, but they were like too scattered whenever I restored it from the restore disk. And that's enough e-machines for you. I'm gonna go ahead and see you guys later. And I will put Windows 98 SE back. So, bye.